While many brands are adding hoopers in A to their supplements, researchers are warning about the long-term side effects. So is hoopers in A a potent and safe nootropic? Well, let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if that's interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let's talk about Hoopers in A today. We're gonna talk about benefits, side effects, dosages. I'll tell you who should definitely avoid taking it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if this is an anotropic that I recommend or not. Now, Hoopers in A is a dietary supplement that is derived from the Chinese club moss Huperzia serrata. It is a cholinesterase inhibitor, which means that it inhibits an enzyme that degrades our learning neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. And as you may know, high levels of acetylcholine are crucial for optimal memory and learning. So what are the potential positive benefits of this nootropic? First of all, it can boost our cognitive performance. Many studies show that supplementing Huperzin A can be very effective in boosting our cognition and cognitive performance in both healthy individuals, but also in people with dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Now, one systematic review of all the studies showed many positive benefits on cognition, but another systematic review showed that the studies that were done were kind of a low quality. So it seems that we lack high quality studies at this moment. The second benefit is that it may improve memory. Again, studies show that supplementing huperzine can be beneficial for improving memory, especially if you have Alzheimer's disease or vascular dementia. And thirdly, it offers neuroprotection and neurogenesis. So studies show that supplementing huperzine can be beneficial and it can act as a neuroprotective agent against different toxins and that it also promotes neurogenesis. But the question is, is it really safe? And how about the side effects? Now, based on the available research, Huperzin A seems non-toxic to human and potentially safe. But the problem we have right now is that we lack long-term data because most of the studies were pretty short, up to three months. And based on those studies, Huperzin A seems safe, even though we came across certain side effects such as nausea and vomiting. Now, another problem with Huperzin A is that it has pretty long half-life, which is about 10 to 14 hours. So this means that it stays in your body for at least 20 to 28 hours. And this is a very long period. So if you take it daily, it starts building up in your system and that means you need to cycle it. But again, the problem right now is that we do not know what's the optimal cycle period. So we cannot tell you if you should cycle it every week, uh, every two weeks, if you can take it for maybe a month and then stay one week off and so on. We just don't know that at this moment. So the current conclusion on its safety is that we simply don't have enough data on its long-term safety to make any smart recommendations. By the way, guys, do you wanna know how well does your brain perform? Go for our free brain assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain health score. Now, how about the optimal daily dosage? Well, based on the available research, the optimal daily dosage is pretty low, uh, somewhere between 50 to 200 micrograms per day. Now, in most nootropic supplements, you're gonna find a pretty low dosage usually up to 50 micrograms per day, because they kind of expect you to take their supplements for a longer period. And to stay on the safe side, they added a very low dosage of Huperzin A into their formula. But since we don't know what happens in the long term, this is still kind of a risky game to play. Now, is there anyone who should avoid the supplementing Huperzin A? Well, yes, definitely. So people who are taking cholinergic or anticholinergic drugs, or people who are taking anticholinesterase inhibitors, they should definitely avoid taking Huperzin A because combining these drugs with Huperzin A can result in pretty severe side effects. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So my final recommendation, do I recommend supplementing Huperzin A or not? Well, that's a pretty tricky thing to say right now. First of all, yes, I know I'm aware that many supplements contain Huperzin A, even some of my favorite ones. Now, most of those supplements contain a pretty low dosage, which is a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, we lack long-term data, uh, data on, on its safety and side effects. That's something we don't really know. So saying that supplementing Huperzin A in the long term, it's safe, it's kind of a stupid thing to do. And I don't recommend doing that. Now, until we know more about its long-term safety and potency in the healthy population, I do not recommend using Huperzin A in the long term. But for short-term boost, so for taking it for a couple of weeks, I personally 
don't see any problems. Now, which is my favorite nootropic supplement that contains Huperzine A? Well, check my video up here and see my whole review. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you soon again.